As the fight for Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculouses grows more intense, Gabriel has no choice but to take the fight to them on occasion. He leaves behind his lair and the protection of his akumatized villains a few times overall, but each battle that follows is memorable and influential enough to change the course of the story. These fights keep Ladybug and Cat Noir on their toes, as their enemy is stronger each time. From Hawkmoth to Monarch, Gabriel isn't afraid to go to great extremes to defeat the heroes. That's why in today's video, we're going over all the times Gabriel has physically fought Ladybug and Cat Noir. Cat Noir! Now let's see if cats always land on their feet. Number 1. Master Manipulation One of his better plans, Gabriel decides to attack Ladybug at the source of her strength, her friends. In the episode Centibubbler, he creates a Centa monster to speak with and threaten Alia, believing she will betray Ladybug for the chance to save her family. In reality, Alia uses the Fox Miraculous to con and trick Gabriel, including the way she allows Marinette to escape her bubble prison without being detected. Once free, Marinette approaches Gabriel using the Ladybug and Horse Miraculous. Their interaction is only a few seconds due to the Horse Miraculous, as she dives through a portal to take Centibubbler's amok from his hands. When Gabriel realizes he's lost, he releases Centibubbler from existence and escapes, while Ladybug and Cat Noir save the people he left behind. If I were you, I would do anything I could to ensure Ladybug showed up very shortly. Number 2. Saving a Secret Identity Gabriel has a trick that secured his secret identity more than once, the ability to akumatize himself. In The Collector, he avoids suspicion of owning the grimoire by turning into a villain, single-handedly convincing Ladybug, Cat Noir, and Master Fu that he couldn't be Hawk Moth with one move. However, the heroes must believe they've de-akumatized him, so a battle ensues where the Collector traps anything and everything inside his book. Ladybug quickly realizes that his weapon will run out of pages, and to defeat the Collector, they fill his book with useless objects until he's rendered powerless and perhaps pick up a Miraculous or two while I'm at it. <laughs> Number 3. There's Power in Numbers The Alliance Rings give Gabriel an undeniable edge against the heroes. Their weapons hidden in plain sight, and in the episode Deflagration, he uses them to determine the secret identities of Scarabella and Kitty Noir. He approaches the new heroes while in school, steals their Miraculouses, and nearly succeeds in his goal within minutes. Fortunately, Plague makes a noble sacrifice by destroying his Miraculous, limiting Gabriel to becoming the villain Monarbug. As Monarbug, Gabriel can create Lucky Charms. However, Tiki sent a Lucky Charm into the universe beforehand. A Kwame using their abilities without a wielder can be equally dangerous and powerful. In this case, the risky decision seems to work in their favor, as the Lucky Charm ends up in Marinette's hands. Marinette uses the magical weapon with help from the Resistance to defeat Monarbug and restore the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses to their proper owners. Number 4. The First Confrontation Tired of losing to the heroes, Gabriel decides to take the fight to them in the episode Catalyst. After turning Natalie into the titular villain, she uses her ability to enhance someone's pre-existing capabilities to turn him into the Scarlet Moth, a supercharged version of Hawk Moth, who can akumatize many people at once. Gabriel creates an army of villains to meet the heroes at the Eiffel Tower. When Scarlet Moth's forces begin losing to the heroes and the revolting people of Paris, he attacks Ladybug and Cat Noir himself. The three fight atop the Eiffel Tower where Ladybug's skill with her yo-yo and Cat Noir's well-timed cataclysm allow them to disarm their enemy, forcing Gabriel to return to his normal Hawk Moth appearance and lose his entire army. The heroes would have won this fight if Natalie hadn't used the Peacock Miraculous at the last minute to save Gabriel. I give you the power to release as many Akumas as you desire. From now on, you are the almighty Scarlet Moth. Number 5. Changing the World Alternate timelines are never fun and miraculous, but in Ephemeral, Gabriel manages to win and ask for his greatest wish. The episode follows a failed attempt by Ladybug to learn Cat Noir's secret identity for Su Han. Instead of allowing Viperion to reverse time so she forgets Cat Noir's identity, Ladybug abandons the plan altogether, leading to her revealing her identity later on and a relationship blossoming between them prematurely. Their relationship leads Gabriel to figure out their secret identities. Off screen, he akumatizes Adrian into Ephemeral and takes the Cat Miraculous. Together, the villains confront Marinette at the movie theater, and she doesn't stand a chance. She is only Ladybug for a few moments before Ephemeral reverses her transformation, allowing Gabriel to take the Ladybug Miraculous. Such an easily won fight would have changed their world forever if it wasn't for Sass later reversing time. You used nine Miraculous to defeat a single villain when Cat Noir could have just used his Cataclysm! I had to! Cat Noir was missing! What do you mean, missing? Number 6. Defeating the Guardian After following Ladybug without her knowledge, Gabriel finds himself face to face with Master Fu. 
The episode Miracle Queen finds Ladybug and Cat Noir in a difficult position, as Hawk Moth, Myura, and Miracle Queen have made an army of their fellow Miraculous wielders and taken Master Fu hostage. The battle is a significant turning point in the story, and it does well to keep fans on the edge of their seats. Ladybug and Cat Noir must use the Dragon and Snake Miraculouses with their own to defeat Miracle Queen, while Master Fu makes a life-altering decision to protect the Miracle Box. As Hawk Moth and Myura use a Senta Monster to try and break through his shelter, Master Fu renounces his guardianship over the Miracle Box and pronounces Ladybug as the new guardian. The Miracle Box returns to her capable hands, leaving Gabriel without a plan and forcing him to flee. <laughs> There's nothing you can do anyway. I already won. Number 7. Betraying Family Cat Block is a heavy episode because it shows a timeline where Gabriel learns the identity of Cat Noir and exploits his relationship with Adrian rather than reevaluate his actions and give up his villainy. It doesn't hold back on how far Gabriel will go as he heavily attacks Cat Noir, subjects him to view his mother's unconscious body, and then akumatizes him with little remorse. The fight is hard to watch because it's a conflict where a father doesn't care for his son. Gabriel goes so far as to make Adrian Cataclysm Marinette, the girl he loves. Adrian does try to resist his father's commands with no luck as Paris, Gabriel, and Marinette become destroyed in the process. Without a doubt, Cat Blanc is the darkest timeline in Miraculous Ladybug so far. I would put that Cataclysm away if I were you, Adrian. How do you... Number 8. A Chase Through Time after obtaining all the Miraculouses stored within the Miracle Box, Gabriel doesn't waste time trying to make his wish come true. In the episode Evolution, he plans to use the Rabbit Miraculous to prevent Emily and Natalie from ever using the Broken Peacock Miraculous. However, Bunnix notices the timeline changing and recruits Ladybug and Cat Noir to help stop their enemy. The episode becomes a fight throughout time as multiple Rabbit Miraculouses move the heroes and Gabriel alike. Ladybug eventually recruits Alex to help them, and with the combined Dog and Rabbit Miraculous, they manage to take his method of time travel away. However, Gabriel remains extremely powerful with so many Miraculouses at his disposal, and Bunnix must send him back to his time by dropping him through a burrow. What's that? Kitty Noir! Minibug! Bunnix! Uh, was that really us passing through here? Yes! No, I mean yes! Number 9. Losing Control Gabriel hates it when he loses control, especially over Adrian. In representation, he akumatizes himself into the villain Night Tormentor to track down his son, who he believes ran away from his new home in London. With Marinette preoccupied during the entire episode, the fight is solely between Night Tormentor and Cat Noir. Since Cat Noir knows the villain is his father, he doesn't hold any punches or advice. He provides angry criticism about Gabriel's skills as a parent, verbally expressing how far he had grown to resent his father. Although Cat Noir fights with his all, Gabriel still manages to strike him with Night Tormentor's power, which makes someone experience their worst nightmares. Cat Noir watches Ladybug crumble in his arms due to a cataclysm and struggles to keep fighting. Luckily, the Resistance arrives and helps him defeat Night Tormentor, before the villain can do more harm. Natalie! Adrian's no longer in London. Where is he? I don't know where he's gone. <laughs> Number 10. A Necessary Risk when someone gets desperate, they start to make rash decisions. As with Gabriel in the episode Destruction, after forcing the Kwamis to take him to Ladybug's home, Marinette comes up with a quick lie and sends him on a hunt throughout Paris to find Ladybug for real. At the end of the search, he meets his two enemies, who plan to take the Miraculouses from him. The battle begins when Ladybug and Cat Noir lure him into a future museum exhibit by pretending to be statues of themselves. Once Gabriel is close enough, they tie his hand to Cat Noir's, forcing him to stay locked in place if he doesn't want to be cataclysmed. He's then tied up with Ladybug's lucky charm, but at the point where he could lose everything, Everything, Gabriel allows himself to get hit by Cat Noir's Cataclysm, shocking the heroes enough that he can escape. Girl, cataclysm. Checkmate, Monarch. Ladybug, all right, <laughs> Number 11, The Final Fight. Gabriel's final confrontation in Miraculous occurs mainly in the episode Recreation, when Marinette finds herself trapped inside the Agrest estate. Gabriel manages to hunt Marinette down, surprised to learn that she was Ladybug all along. With their identities revealed to one another, a battle for the Miraculouses and Adrian's well-being follows, where Gabriel uses all the Miraculouses at his disposal, and Marinette unifies Tiki and Plague to become Bug Noir. The fight is epic, but ends with Marinette trying to reason with Gabriel. She shows him a video of Emily believing he would respect his wife's dying wishes, but he betrays her instead. Gabriel takes the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses to make his wish, altering their world, and loses his life in the process. In order to bring Emily back, someone else will have to disappear. In order to heal the wound that Cat Noir inflicted on me, someone else will have to be wounded. Number 12, The Movie. Outside the main series, Ladybug and Cat Noir the movie also features a magnificent fight scene between the heroes and Gabriel. At the Eiffel Tower, he creates chaos across Paris, using abilities new to the film to rip apart buildings, flood the streets, and cause significant harm. 
Blinded by his heartache, Cat Noir attempts to cataclysm Gabriel but sends himself and the Eiffel Tower falling to the streets below. Ladybug saves him briefly before she gets tossed to the side and Gabriel takes Cat Noir to steal his miraculous. The climactic moment is much different from similar instances in the series, as when Gabriel realizes who Cat Noir truly is, he stops his rampaging and apologizes to his son for all the harm he caused. It's a quick fix, but when a parent faces the child that they harmed, one would hope that reason and remorse could make them rethink their actions. The kitten is in the lions. Gabriel has done his fair share to keep Ladybug and Cat Noir on the lookout. He may not be around to have fights like these anymore, but the time he spent trying to steal the Miraculouses gave the heroes the experience and wisdom they needed to keep the jewelry and their Kwame safe from future threats. But who knows? Gabriel could always return to the Miraculous Movie Universe for more fights or confrontations. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads.